Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at SMT in Nuremberg, and I'm joined by Bob Black from Juki. Bob, always a pleasure to see you, but unusual to see you here in Europe. Tell me what's going on here with Juki at the moment. Well, um, you know, about two years ago, I was promoted to an officer of our Japanese corporation. So now part of my responsibility is Europe. And while Jens Miro is our president here, uh, he reports to me. So I have to come over for the key times uh, and show faces, as they say. Okay, and how's it working out here in Europe at the moment for Juki? We're hearing good things about, about you in the, the U.S., lots of line solutions being sold. Yep. Here, too. Uh, I mean, our line solutions program is going quite well. Uh, you know, we started this uh, over three years ago, as you remember, with uh, our alliance with GKG and then JT. And now we've added a couple more to the family. And uh, uh, about 40% uh, of our sales now is line solutions. Wow. Uh, so it's growing fast. And I can see in the next couple of years, that's going to be more like 60%. Yeah. So in, in Germany in particular, but also in China, I was at NEPCON. A lot of discussion around line solutions, but connected line solutions. Mm -hmm. Industry 4.0, internet manufacturing, whatever term you want to use. Does that fit with your strategy to bring all these different component parts together? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, uh, people want line solutions because they want an integrated production set and they want to be able to get the data that they need to keep their production effective and, and, and under cost control. And so if we don't deliver that, delivering a whole bunch of different machines does nothing for them. So the core of our offering, and I think a few other guys around this hall, uh, ties around software that uh, links the machines together, that collects the data, uh, that enables a plug-in to Industry 4.0. I mean, it's Industry 4.0 here in Germany especially. Mm. Uh, United States, I don't think we know what to call it yet. No. Uh, China just uh, announced an initiative uh, borrowing in China, heavily. 2025. There yeah. you go. So uh, this is a trend, and we're just trying to be, you know, at least even with the trend, if not a bit in front of it. Yeah, and there are clear benefits uh, to the consumer in terms of mass customization and all the way through all the way through the manufacturing process of that. So Yeah, and there are benefits too. I mean, our, our partnership with Storage Solutions uh, uh, from Venice, uh, Italy, uh, we've had uh, a couple of customers now achieved more than a 25% increase in line efficiency just by reducing downtime. Right. I mean, we have it now where if a, a re feeder is going to run out of components, uh, it notifies the tower, pulls an extra reel, gives a message, this is needed on line 2, machine 2, feeder 23 immediately, mm -hmm. and the part is there before the feeder runs out. This minimizes the time that they used to set yeah. waiting for the part yeah. to come. So if you can increase the line efficiency 25%, you don't, that means you don't have to buy every fourth line, yeah. and that means that the tower practically is paid for in months. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so... We're seeing a lot of effectiveness. So when you say Industry 4.0 or whatever the Chinese want to call it, uh, it's really about producing more efficiently yeah. and saving money in your yeah. operation. And that's going to be key, especially for EMS companies in the future, to stay profitable. Yeah, and I think it's going to be where the, where the Industry 4.0 debate goes between here and Productronic Groups. What are the KPIs? What's the return on investment? We've had a lot of fluff and a lot of talk around the concept, now we need some real deliverables. Yeah, and, uh, you, you see with ASM and, uh, and DEC, and I'm sure they're shopping around for some more, uh, you know, uh, they're part of the trend. I mean, Panasonic already makes uh, just about everything you could name. Yeah. Uh, Fuji uh, makes a lot, and uh, yeah, they have, uh, they have yeah. partners for the rest. So, you know, most of the big placement players are all headed this direction. Yeah. And uh, if you're not with it, uh, I don't think you're going to be around too long. No, I absolutely agree. Bob, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting. And um, I guess we'll see you at SMTAI or in Munich or all of the above. Uh, both, unfortunately. Yeah. But, well, it'll uh, be a pleasure. Uh, always good talking to you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.